Okay, so now we're going to look at the concept behind Liu. Liu is obviously the yin power of Tai Chi, and although we maintain some pung as we perform Liu, from a conceptual point of view, it is like taking someone to the edge of a cliff. If you look at the trigram that, uh, from, from the Bagua that, re that represents uh, Liu, it is the pure yin trigram. It's, it's the lines with the hole in the middle, and it is a pure, it's like a falling off a cliff. This is what the concept behind Liu as a power is all about. So, the way I like to think of it, there are two areas to this, um, <clears throat> this concept. Firstly, we have the fall, where someone falls off the cliff, and then we have the push, okay? These are the two parts of Liu, conceptually. So, to fall off the cliff, okay, uh, you need to be put to the end of the cliff and then thrown off. If you imagine uh, the film 300 where Leonidas kicks the, the messenger off, the, off into the hole and he, they fall, the fall is what kills them, but the motivation to fall was King Leonidas kicking them, okay? And that's Liu. Liu has the effect of leading someone to the edge of a, a cliff and then just letting them go and fall, making them fall off. And there are certain sound mechanical principles about how we actually achieve that. So uh, the, the concept, if you keep the concept of Liu in your mind, lead towards the hole or the cliff and then drop them off. That's perfect idea and concept behind Liu. So as a uh, technique that we can train or a drill that we can train to help us to feel that leading to the edge of the cliff and dropping them off, there are two things that we can start to think about. Firstly, we have to think about how we guide someone to the edge of the cliff, okay? And there are several ways that we need to think about that. The first thing is that we need to make an angle on their line of power. So if Conrad's holding his arm out, okay, he has very good power in this direction, straight through his arm, okay, into his shoulders. And as I push, I can push very hard, and there's no way that I can do anything against that straight line of force. Similarly, if he pushes me through that line of force, he's very strong, okay? What I'm going to do is create an angle. So I'm just going to move, so there's a different angle between me and him. And as he pushes, yeah, that angle gets stronger and deeper, and he gets led off to the side. I'm not actually doing anything. I'm not trying to move him at all. I'm creating an angle. If we do it in this direction, uh, yeah, like this. So to start to push, you see? The angle between my elbow and his body changes, and he gets led. It's much more easy to feel in this direction. I'm not actually leading him anywhere. His force leaks into the, uh, the direction of the angles pointing in. Just hold the position. His force leaks into this part of the direction, and then as he applies more force, more force leaks out to the side. And this is what is leading him around. It's not me, I'm yin, I'm completely, I'm just putting the structure there, okay? And if my structure's straight, he goes through it. If I put an angle, he himself leads him around, okay? So this is the idea of the angle on his point of entry. So if it's like this, then I make an angle, and then as he pushes, this happens, yeah, like this. It doesn't require anything from the person making the angle to lead them. They, they lead themselves. They put power in themselves. So this is the first thing. Second thing is we don't oppose the way they want to go. So again, he holds his arm out. We don't oppose the way he wants to go. He wants to go this way. Let's take him that way, yeah? L allow them to go the way they want and lead them around, okay? I don't try and stop him, yeah? I lead him around. So this is the second thing. Create an angle, lead them in the direction that they want to go, okay? Now the last thing relates to this idea of the hole and dropping them down it. And that's what we call emptying the body. So the emptying is the, is the sinking of the body downwards, okay? And hollowing it out. I want to feel like I'm no longer being strong. Okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to be strong against their force. 